Hello, my name is Todd Tipton G. I'm here at Springdale Tractor Tulsa. Wanted to go over the SVL series and why you might choose one of the series over the other. I've got two rental machines and a brand new 97 out here. So I want to talk about the specs and why you might choose the 65 over the 75 or the 75 over the 97 because they're all built for, you know, different... Uh, um, work sites, jobs, things of that nature, uh, just depending on what application you're going to use it for, right? So this first one here is a SVL 75 high flow with a cab. Okay, so the cab's nice because you can put a demo door on it. Like this is one of our rental machines. We've got a demo door here that we put a brush hog on it uh, that cuts up to four inch trees. So it's nice for some land clearing. The specs on this, this machine weighs about 9,500 pounds, 9,000 without, uh, without the uh, cab. And then the bucket adds about 500 pounds to that. So you're looking just about 10,000 pound machine with a cab, a high flow machine. Okay, the, the flow on this, it goes up to 29 gallons per minute on the low flow is 17 gallons per minute. Uh, the breakout force on this machine is about 6,200 pounds and the lift capacity all the way to the top is 2,300 pounds. Now the lift, the lift height on this is right at 10 feet. Now the benefit to our vertical lift design over a radial is you can get right up against the wall or a dump truck and you won't have to worry about hitting the side of the wall or the dump truck or the site you're working at because it's exactly vertical where you don't have to worry about that. Now, the other benefit to this is all of our SVL series. On the dog leg here, I'm going to show you, it, it doesn't, there's usually a leg that comes out here. Well, it hinders your dumping clearance, okay? On the Kubota, as you can see, doesn't have that dog leg on there, so you can get up over the dump truck and dump it wherever you need to. Now, some of the things that are standard on our machines, uh, as opposed to some other machines out there, uh, is the door. Okay, the door is a very nice feature on this because it slides right up. So you can have your boom halfway up or if it's a nice day or if you need to talk to your workers or something like that, you can keep the door open and still operate this machine on a cab unit. Or if some reason it breaks down with a boom halfway down, you can get out of this machine. Some other manufacturers, they swing out where you have to have the bucket and the boom all the way down on this machine. Okay, uh, now, to the 65, the reason you might get the 65, it's a little bit lighter machine. So you don't have to have nearly as big of a truck uh, to haul this machine. This machine weighs just a little over 8,000 pounds. Now, the lift capacity is 2,100 pounds all the way to the top. So there's only a 200 pound difference as far as lift capacity all the way to the top and two inch difference in lift height. So this one lifts nine foot to 10. This one lifts right at 10 feet. Now, the biggest difference between the 75 and the 65 is obviously the 10 horsepower, but also the weight, right? This has got a little bit more junk in the trunk than the 65 does, right? So it's got a 6,200 breakout force as to where the SVL 65 is about 4,600 pounds. Now, what's nice about the SVL 65 is you're landscaping, you're on some finished ground that you don't want to tear up, or if you got a smaller truck that, you know, you don't want to put as much wear and tear and you're just lifting uh, pallets of sod or something along those lines, the 65 might be the perfect machine for you. You can get it in standard flow or high flow. The standard flow is 17 gallons per minute, just like the 75, but the high flow is 27 gallons per minute, as opposed to the 75 is uh, 27 gallons per minute, right? So still capable machine. You notice the track's just a little bit narrower than they are on the 75 just a little bit smaller machine okay um, all of our machine come with the cylinder guards here on the front all of these brackets here are bolt-on because every one of them we ever have come in or bent these are bolt-on so you can replace them as time goes on you get some wear and tear on this machine okay now I'm going to show you the new SVL 97 okay it used to be the 95 the 97 they've done some updates they've done def updates They've got a backup camera on them now, and they also have telematics. The beauty of telematics is it allows you to uh, see where your machine's at. So if you got an operator using it, you can see where that machine's at, see the fuel level, the battery, all sorts of things that keep up the maintenance of your machine. Or you can actually even uh, set it to where it's in a certain parameter and gives you alerts, all sorts of things. Look up telematics Kubota or my Kubota app, and it'll dive a little bit deeper into that. But a huge selling point on these 97s. Now, the 97 is the biggest track loader that Kubota makes and it's a very capable machine. Uh, 8,200 pounds of breakout force. It's got, uh, it weighs about, uh, about 12,000 pounds just shy of it on the high flow machine. It is 40 gallons per minute. Uh, so it's, it's, it's on the high flow. 
uh, and 29 gallons per minute on the low flow. Okay, so uh, very capable machine. You can run multiple different implements off of this. This is when you start getting the mulchers and you know power rigs, stuff like that. Not that you can't do that on the 75. It's just going to be a little bit lighter duty, right? It's not going to. You're not going to be able to be as productive as the 97 is going to be because it's got a bigger stance, more flow, more weight, more breakout force. This is a machine that is going to get just about any job you need done to get done. Now, on all of these machines and the tractors and everything. Everything Kubota makes are Kubota from top to bottom, right? One of the advantages of that, and we'll show you back here. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention is the locking def door here, as were before they did not have that. Okay. Now the advantage on the Kubota is with it being Kubota from top to bottom is the ease of maintenance. Okay. You got three bolts here. Okay. Three bolts tilts and slides out where you can get to the engine very easily and get to the air filter, oil filter, hydraulic filter, everything super simple uh, to get into and be able to operate this machine. Now with this being the 97 they did start coming with the backup camera. You can see the little camera there at the top of the cab there. Um, so gives you a little bit of visibility whenever you're operating in close quarters with this machine. Okay now on the SVL series they're hydraulic over hydraulic controls. Okay so one of the things I want to do is I want to demonstrate the difference between a hydraulic over hydraulic control base, uh, the difference between that and electronic over hydraulic. There's going to be two things. It's going to be a lot more responsive. There's not going to be any dead spots, right? You're going to be able to be very predictable. Like we use one of these SVL 75s to unload trucks, right? Those trucks might be stacked high with three pallets or two pallets, whatever it is. We have to be precise and make sure we're not knocking anything off. So that's, I could see the advantage of using that over when you're in tight quarters or if you're trying to get in a tight spot, it's a very predictable machine, right? As to where electronic over hydraulic, you've got a communication between the, the actual pilot controls and the hydraulics as to where this, there's wet lines going straight down to the machine right um, and the best way to show that is shaking the bucket right whenever you shake the bucket on one of these machines it's violent I mean it really shakes the entire machine as to where if you do electronic over hydraulic you're gonna notice a little bit of a delay and there's gonna be a little bit of a dead spot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in this SVL 97 and I'm gonna get on into this pile of dirt back here and I'm gonna show you uh, the differences between that now there's several features I'm not going over like the double flange tracks where it keeps from the tracks coming off the, the, the Kubota design powertrain underneath where there's no hydraulic lines underneath uh, it allows you to be a little bit more rugged and also gives you more ground clearance than anything out there. Um, it also gives you more space on the tracks where you can get all the mud out. A lot of things I'm not going over but I wanted to give you a brief overview. Okay, So I'm going to hop in this machine real quick. So if you can notice, once I got that pile of dirt, if I got dirt stuck up in there, I can easily get that dirt out and shake that dirt out. Um, so if you have any more questions or want to dive a little bit deeper into the specs of these machines, feel free to call us here at Springdale Tractor Company of Tulsa or visit us online. If you feel like trying one out or if you're a weekend warrior or got a special project, we also have works equipment rental and we'd be more happy to help you there too. Feel free to give us a call, 918-224-1565, or visit us off of Route 66 in Tulsa. Thank you.